Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy. We're going to switch it up a little bit today and instead of talking about animals, we're going to talk about plants and we're going to talk about this one in particular. Look at this flower. Oh, I love it. I love flowers, especially ones like this. This is called a hibiscus. And you know, what's neat about hibiscus is when you see something like this, you usually see the hibiscus in a tropical area. So maybe Hawaii, or in fact, the, the national flower in um, Tahiti. And, and they're also the, uh, the national flower in Honduras. And Hawaii actually recognizes this as the state flower. So usually think of warm weather areas. Well, the cool thing is, is that our gardeners here have found a hibiscus that do quite well in places like Montana. And very rare to see a flower this big in a state like ours. But my gosh, when you come here to the zoo into our sensor garden, you got to check this thing out. Now, right now it's the morning time. It's a little cool outside, so it's still folded up. But as it gets warmer and the sun comes out and hits it, it's going to get huge. It's going to open up and get wide. And inside of there, you can see this little stem that comes up. Of course, this is the stamen and the pistil. That's where the pollen is. And of course, the cool thing about these flowers is that they have learned how to get that pollen out there so animals like bees and hummingbirds can see it. In fact, we got bees all around us right now. They're going to land on that. They're going to drink the nectar. That pollen is going to stick to them and they're going to go to the next plant and fertilize that next plant and hopefully that plant then has babies in the years to come. It's really genius that these plants can do that and know how that happens. Just a cool thing. Now, a couple cool things about the hibiscus in particular. They are edible. When they dry up, you can actually eat them. Now, I recommend you don't do that just in case you don't pick the right flower and you pick something that's not a hibiscus. But in other countries, they are eaten and they are used in tea. A lot of people like to crush them up and make them in tea. Now, get this. In places like Tahiti and in the Philippines, I love this. If you crush this up and you get the juice out of the flower and you mix it with soap, it creates like a super soap that makes some of the best bubbles that you will ever see. And so the kids in the Philippines often do that, make this concoction, use papaya straws, like straws of uh, like paper, um, uh, like uh, I don't even want to like plant straws, and they make bubbles out of that. And it creates these incredible bubbles unlike any dish soap you will ever see. So that's another neat thing to keep in mind. You can try out if you maybe have a hibiscus, but again, don't pick a flower unless you get permission from the owner. That's really important. So guys, come on out to the zoo. Check out this garden. It is in full bloom right now. It is just spectacular out here. And yes, flowers are cool. I love them. I want you to love them. So come out and see them up close. Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with my hibiscus buddy here. We'll see you at the zoo. <laughs>